Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome back. It's been a while. Um, it's been a year, <laughs> I think, since I recorded a video, and I'm sorry about that. Um, 2020 got to me. I'm sure it got to a lot of people, um, and it's almost over, and I'm very happy about that. Hopefully 2021 is the greatest year of all, but I'm keeping my hopes high, but my expectations low. Anyway, so um, I'm not going to do a whole recap of my year because it probably went the same as yours. And if you had a great year, congratulations, because I know it was tough. Um, so let's start. Let's, let's talk about last month. Last month was November. NaNoWriMo month, National Novel Writing Month. Um, if you don't know what NaNoWriMo is, it is the month where anyone who has wanted to write a novel or who has written a novel and wants to write another one, um, writers of all ages sit down, buckle down, and pump out 50,000 words in 30 days. It is... A great month and it is um, a, a stressful month especially for um, people who have never written a novel before or for people who have trouble um, with writer's block but it helps it helps to get um, get you through um, you know the tough times I actually did manage to write more than 50,000 words in 30 days I actually um, hit the 50,000 mark at day 28 and my goal was to do it before Thanksgiving and I was on track but then there were a couple of days where I didn't hit the word quota for the day and you know things happen but I did it and I am glad I did it um, I actually I feel really good about it and this is not gonna be my NaNoWriMo uh, post here this is just um, I'm just touching on it because I did it. I completed it. Um, it was my first time finishing. And it was actually, it, I learned a lot. And um, I did it by utilizing the tools that were available for um, people, um, for writers. And not just during NaNoWriMo. They're available, you know, all year long, all day, every day. So um, I will do a video about what I learned from NaNoWriMo and how I did manage to tackle those 50,000 words. My story's not finished. Um, I do uh, plan on publishing it, so I am still writing the first draft, and then I will do the second draft and the third draft, and however many drafts it takes to get close to perfect, as close to perfect as possible so that I can enter the publication stage. And I don't know if I'm going to um, try to get an agent and go um, the mainstream publishing route or if I um, wanna do self-publishing. Um, there are pros and cons to both. And I, um, I haven't decided yet how I'm gonna do that. But um, that is my plan that is my 2021 goal that's one of them also I am um, thinking about other stories that I'm going to be tackling I will be doing NaNoWriMo again and NaNoWriMo the um, organization NaNoWriMo also has um, NaNoWriMo camp camp NaNoWriMo that happens every July and every April so I'm going to be doing that I'm also going to maybe if I do do um, if I do finish the um, first draft and get it polished 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 Maybe I'll uh, do use it in Pitmad. I don't know. Um, Pitmad just happened on the third, and so it wouldn't be until maybe March or um, the June July Pitmad. So that's the future. Um, let's stay in the present, shall we? <laughs> um, also, I did get my planner that I. Um, will be using for 2021 and I had a whole unboxing video that I did and 
there were technical difficulties and I managed to, um, I just decided I'm just going to redo it, but I'm not going to redo, uh, the whole unboxing. I'm just going to show you what I got and, um, that's it. I would love to do the whole unboxing thing, but that takes too long. So this is what I got. First of all, it arrived today. So it came in this box, this cool box here, um, the flip lid. I love these boxes and I probably will use this box for some, something else, um, because I am a hoarder <laughs> and so, um, yeah, but the planner usually, um, this is an Erin Condren planner. I am a diehard happy planner fan and user, but this year I decided to go with something different. And the reason is I found, um, I got, you know, one of those ads on my, on my computer and I saw the cover, which is this one, this cover right here. It's a, um, folio cover. So this is called the on the go folio planner from Erin Condren. And no, I'm not paid by Erin Condren to um, do this, but I'm excited about this particular one because this is basically a build your own planner type planner and it's perfect for what I need. So I ordered this, um, the folio, uh, cover and it's a PC, uh, what do they call it? PC leather, PU leather, PU leather. So, um, hopefully it's durable for my, cause I'm rough on things. And I ordered the inserts or the, um, the, the, what do you call them? Notebooks that I needed, that I wanted. So this one, everything comes to you. What does it say? Everything comes to you at the right time is, um, the monthly planner. January to December 2021 and they have undated ones but I wanted a dated one and basically it's just you know your at a glance pages and then in the back it's got all of these note pages so instead of it just being your calendar here it's also got notes pages, which I'm excited about because I need notes pages, you know, all the time. And it comes with stickers. So, you know, planner stickers, reminders, um, things like that, which, oh, it even has TV, um, little TVs. So I guess that's to remind you what shows you want to watch. That's cool, right? And then I got this. Um, this one is called the... Uh, daily customizable agenda. I didn't get a weekly this time. I got the daily um, customizable agenda and this has 80 pages. So I'll probably have to order another one, which is fine. And it, the pages are blank. So you see, you can do, you know, some notes, you write the day here and then you get, you know, put in whatever your plans are for that day. And then it's got your to-do list here or however you want to use that. And I'm excited about that because I don't have something to do every single day. So, um, you know, if I can get 80 days worth of, of use out of it, perfect. If I have to order another one, even better. So, um, I'm loving that. This one also comes with stickers and it's happy birthday. A little, um, I love these little to do stickers, these little long ones. And then, you know, more little reminder thingies here. And then, you know, in the back is the place where they're held. So then the next one I got is the goal setting journal. If I could have anything in a note, in a um, planner, it's a goal setting. I love goal setting. Um, I'm a goal getter as they say. And this year, um, my goals, ugh, my goals, fell by the wayside this year. Um, it honestly, 2020 had me in a semi depression. Um, you know, I, there were days where I didn't want to get out of bed. There were days where 
I wanted to pull my hair out and there were days where I felt like I had to push myself to go outside and get some sunshine. <sighs> oh well, life happens and on to better things, right? Upward and onward, so, or onward and upward. Um, so this goal setting journal, this is cool. Um, it has, this is really cool actually. It tells you, you know, it's got a little guide to goal setting and how to use this, how to, how to, uh, do the whole goal getting thing. And, oh, look, it's even got a little goal vision board. That's cool. I like that. You can actually draw or like stick stickers on here or, um, cut out pictures and stick them on there. That's pretty cool this whole these two I like that that's actually really cool I um, usually have a vision board that I keep on the wall I haven't done one um, did I do one last year I don't think I did one last year but um, I'll do one I definitely I'm gonna keep one in here and then it's got you know how do you break down a goal so you write your goal down and then you write down why your goal is important and then your start date project finish date, important goal date, blah, blah, blah. You write down your action plan and then you write down each small step that you're gonna do toward your goal. And I like this because it keeps you focused. When you have a goal in your head, a lot of times it it's, it's easier to reach a goal when you see it laid out. This is my goal. This is why I want to accomplish this goal, and this is what I'm going to do to reach that goal. And that's pretty cool. And um, my first goal, obviously, is going to be to finish my book um, and then publish and rinse and repeat. So that's awesome. And then, you know, it's got the goal check-in. So basically, this is where you say how you did on your goal that day what you did if you did do work toward it or not and then there are to do's what do you need to do things like that I love this this I think is gonna be one of my favorite things this year um, and it's also got some stickers more stickers I like these stickers I love planner stickers and um, I have all those happy planner stickers so I'll probably be using those as well oh, well no I will be using those as well and this right here is a fact. A goal without a plan is just a wish. So plans, guys. Make your plans. Achieve your goals. And the last thing in here, this only fits four notebooks, four little books. Um, this one is Wonder Woman themed, and it's just a, um, a productivity notebook. And it's not really, um, there's no, there's no, um, nothing it's just lined and bubble there's like little bubble tick marks or where you can put tick marks and I like this um, it might end up just being a notebook for me I bought it I thought it, there was more to it but it's fine that there's not um, I can think of a bunch of things that I could do with this actually so that's cool um, and this one doesn't come with stickers though so because it's just the you know lined paper pretty much but isn't this awesome i love this and it's it's um on the go it's portable and these little book booklets are interchangeable there was one that was like a meal planner um i think i saw a health tracker um there might have even been a habit tracker i'm not sure but i dig this this right here I will be carrying with me everywhere. Um, and then I also bought an extra little notebook. I thought it was lined paper, um, but it's blank. And that's really cool. I'm definitely probably going to use this for doodling. I bought it to use as a bullet journal. But since um, I couldn't find, there was no dot grid um, books available for some reason so that's okay and I also bought this little um this cover that goes that it's in and this is there was two of these if you can see that that's um glitter there was another one that was blue and blue's my favorite color but I'm I'm going with a lot of pink if you didn't notice well this one is mostly blue but like the rest of these are pinkish 
peachish, peachy pink. And so um, I didn't want a blue cover for that. Um, I'm really excited about this. Um, and I like that it's in the style of a traveler's notebook. Um, I did buy a traveler's notebook for myself as a reward for um, NaNoWriMo. I think I already said that. And I'm going to be using that for... Um, oh, the, in, the possibilities are endless. I might just use it for writing specifically. Um, for um, ideas, uh, notes outlining, writing observations, sitting, sitting outside, writing my, you know, observations, or maybe I'll use it for, um, my morning pages. No, I'm not going to use it for morning pages. Um, but I'm definitely going to be using that. Um, and I'm excited about that too. Um, also, um, as a free gift, I got these Pins. Oh, I think I already put that. I already said that. See, this is what happens when you have to re-record a video. Um, and it also came with um, a little welcome. A little welcome. Ah, oh, there it is. A little welcome note. Because I've never ordered Erin Condren before. So it says... Hello and welcome. Thanks for your first order. Simplify and stylize gift giving on the go with this complimentary set of our signature gift labels. And then there's two of these two sheets of labels. There's two large ones and then three of the uh, smaller ones. And this is cool. I can, um, I'll be putting these on some Christmas gifts for sure. <laughs> and, um, then it says, enjoy these free gift labels in two sizes, yada, yada, yada. And then this is a little, EC Insider, and you can get rewards points for ordering things. And um, that's it for my planner. I'm going to start writing things down there. 2021, I plan. I think I planned to focus on my writing in 2020 in the previous video, in my, um, my resolutions video. And again... I did some writing, um, but not much writing and not as much as I would have liked. I, I could have literally written 50,000 words every month now that I know that I can do it, but, um, I didn't, I didn't. And again, 2020 got to me and yeah. So, um, 2021, I'm going to be focusing on that. There are a bunch of festivals in California that I want to go to and seeing as how most of them were canceled because of the pandemic a they are um, some of them have been postponed and then others have um, just been you know they've been rescheduled I don't know if I know like maybe some of the ones in the earlier year took place but I plan on going to some book festivals and finding some, um, even online or, um, virtual, um, writing seminars and things like that to, um, focus. I'm trying to focus. I want to focus on my writing because it's what I like to do. It's what I enjoy. And I forgot about that. Like I forgot that it's what I enjoy. Like I'm glad that I have the ability to do it. And I needed to get back to it. And NaNoWriMo was the push I needed to get me back into writing. So I am super, super thankful for that. Um, that's pretty much it for um, today. I promise that I won't be neglecting the channel for a year <laughs> again. Um I have plans. I've got plans. I've got big plans. And they're going to go in here. <laughs> and hopefully you guys can come along for the ride. So that is all for now. I shall talk to you later. Bye.